The prisoner's dilemma is a common problem in game theory. In summary, we have two people who are arrested. Each can either comply with the arrest or blame the other person without knowing what the other does. If both comply, they may get one year in prison each. If one complies and the other blames, the complying one gets five years in prison and the other one goes free. But if both blame each other, they get three years in prison each. This problem has a solution known as a Nash Equilibrium, where both players optimise their strategy based on the opponent's strategy. If prisoner B complies, prisoner A will want to blame. If prisoner B blames, prisoner a will again want to blame. Therefore, we have a Nash equilibrium where both prisoners will always blame. I want to add some complexity and investigate how it changes the problem. I'm going to introduce Gideon. Gideon is a bad cop. He gives prisoners the option to bribe him to guarantee only a one year sentence. Let's update our matrix to reflect this. Okay, let's try to solve this like we solved the previous dilemma. When B complies, A wants to blame. When B bribes, A wants to blame again. But when B blames, A wants to bribe. There are a couple of observations you can make. Firstly, we can simplify this problem. Because compl Complying is never beneficial, we can eliminate that option entirely from a matrix. Now, this is curious. The best response for B when A bribes is to blame, and vice versa. So we have two Nash equilibria when one blames and the other bribes. But this is problematic. In game theory, a Nash equilibrium is one of the most common solution concepts, as it's a result where players basically stalemate each other into the best compromise. Since the prisoners don't cooperate and must predict each other's moves, they can't choose between these two solutions because there isn't an obvious dominant solution, meaning it becomes a guessing game like rock, paper, scissors. But how do we go about this? Well, a common strategy is to use both Nash equilibria in a mixed strategy. A mixed strategy uses probability to try to take advantage of multiple solutions, basically accepting it as a game of chance like rock, paper, scissors. My curiosity isn't satisfied with just this pure theory though. I want to put it to the test, so I wrote C++ code so that I can simulate this strategy. I ran 10,000 games where both prisoners have an equal chance of bribing and blaming. The result was prisoner A having a total of 12,000 520 years, whilst prisoner B had a total of 12,441 years. That's not ideal. Clearly they blamed each other many times and extended both of their sentences. These numbers show that there's a better strategy. If both prisoners are aware of the statistics, then there's one very clear dominant strategy, always bribing. That way, both prisoners can guarantee only one year in jail. This means that after 10,000 games of only bribing, they each only get a total of 10,000 years, a great improvement from over 12,000 each. If you notice that this version of the game is actually equal to the prisoner's dilemma if being blamed didn't extend your sentence. Interesting that simply removing the threat in being betrayed removed the incentive to throw blame. Hey, what's up, Gideon? You know too much. Oh, no!